Hi, in this video, we're carefully going to go through the justification that this set here, G, which is the set containing the two numbers, negative one and one, is a group under the operation of multiplication. So we're going to show that uh, this set G, together with regular multiplication, uh, is in fact a group. And we're just going to go through and talk through uh, maybe write down some stuff, uh, all, all the conditions. So first of all, uh, it is a non-empty set, and we do have closure uh, under the group operation, under this so-called group operation. So closure is key. So let's check closure. So if we take negative 1 and we multiply it by negative 1, uh, I, I didn't put the dot there, but you can assume that we're using the group operation, which is multiplication. You're going to get 1, and that's that's in G. Right? There's no issues there. That's in G. Um, if you do negative 1 times 1, you're going to get negative 1. That's also in G. Um, if we do uh, 1 times negative 1, we're going to get negative 1. That's also uh, an element in our set G. And if you do 1 times 1, uh, you're also going to get 1. That's also an element in G. So closure is satisfied. Multiplication is a binary operation on this set given to any two elements in the set. Uh, we take the product, it's also in the set. So closure is satisfied. So that is taken care of. Uh, and then we have to look at <clears throat> associativity. Associativity. And the good news is we're not going to have to go through and verify associativity because we can just simply say that um, multiplication of real numbers is associative. These are real numbers, therefore the multiplication here is also associative. So you can just say associative because multiplication, I'll say mult, of real numbers uh, is associative. My pen is failing. Sometimes it has issues. So we have uh, associativity uh, taken care of, uh, no issues there. So then we have to look at uh, the identity element. So let me uh, write that down. So the identity element, so I'll just say identity. And the identity in this case is going to be uh, E equals one. So E equals one is the identity. And you can just see that uh, here. Uh, if you do uh, one times one, uh, you get one. Uh, 1 times negative 1, you get negative 1. Negative 1 times 1, you get negative 1. So you multiply any number times 1, and you're going to get that number. Uh, so I could take negative 1 times 1. I'm going to get negative 1, and vice versa on the other the other way. 1 times negative 1, you're going to get negative 1. And then 1 times 1 is, is 1. So E is uh, the identity element. Um, and then we have inverses. So the, we need the existence of inverses. Uh, it looks like uh, every element is its own inverse, right? So, for example, if you take negative 1, what do you have to multiply by negative 1 in order to get 1, which is the identity? Well, negative 1. Whoops. So, so negative 1 is uh, the inverse of negative 1. Okay, negative 1 is the inverse of negative 1. Likewise, you multiply 1 by 1 to get 1. So, every element, so every element is its own inverse, is its own inverse. Pen started to fail there. There we go. All right. So all of these things together show that it is a group, right? So we have um, a closure. Uh, we have a set with the binary operation that's closed under, under the binary operation. We have associativity of the elements in our set. We have an identity element. So that means that basically given any element uh, x in uh, g, x times e is x, e times x is equal to x. And so basically that number is 1 in this case. And every element is its own inverse. Um, given any element, we can find some other elements such that when you multiply it by the element, you get the identity. And that other element is actually the same element because every element is its own inverse. So hopefully this video has brought some clarity uh, to uh, group stuff. Uh, kind of 
spent some time explaining the same thing over and over again, but I think sometimes uh, explaining something multiple times might be helpful. Hopefully I explained enough and hopefully, hopefully you understood something in this video and you learned something. So all of these things together basically say that this, this one here is a group with uh, the operation of multiplication. Until next time, good luck. Take care.